Thank you for joining us for KAG's News at 10. I'm Elizabeth Tharp. Governor Abbott has announced the agenda for a special legislative session that begins tomorrow, July 8th. KAG spoke with State Representative John Rainey about what we the people can expect to see. Governor Abbott's special session includes 13 pieces of legislation like Senate Bill 7, which some say strengthens the integrity of elections in Texas. But I don't think that it's wise for us to go into um, a just open mail-in ballot situation. I think it's ripe for fraud. However, others say it's suppressing voters. KAG spoke exclusively to former Congressman Beto O'Rourke last month during his stop in Brenham. There are no sidelines in this democracy. If, if you care about the ability to vote, if you want to make sure that we have free and fair elections, then you got to stand up and be counted. Another controversial topic of discussion will be on legislation concerning critical race theory. Representative Rainey says it's something he's concerned about. He says he knows about our nation's history and he's not trying to cover it up. But uh, do we need to just keep blasting on them and blasting on them and blasting on them instead of talking about the policy things that have made those changes through time that uh, have put us in the place where we are the freest country and we have less racism probably than any any uh, nation uh, on the face of the earth. The state will also address the censorship of social media companies. Former President Trump filed a lawsuit against Facebook, Google and Twitter after they banned him earlier this year from posting on their platforms. Representative Rainey says maybe these tech giants need to be regulated like television and radio companies are. He says in his opinion, they don't want to suppress other people's views. Why do we let one person get to do that? Is it is a curious thing to me. And one piece that's not on the agenda is legislation on the power grid. Representative Rainey says the governor did talk to the Public Utility Commission about the power grid and it's solely in his hands as of right now. He's responsible for everything on this call. We don't get to choose. So uh, let's let's let him handle it. Uh, I mean, that's the only, only choice we have. The special session is set to begin at 10 a.m. and you can check our website throughout the day for updates.